Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name's Fiona, I'm a travel vlogger and I can't travel anywhere because it's not essential. So what I'm doing instead is I'm traveling all around the world via my kitchen and I'm trying to cook different dishes of different places that I've been and I've vlogged. And today we're not going far, we're gonna stay in Scotland and we're going up the northeast coast in Mauritius and we're gonna to go to Cullen. So today we're gonna to make one of my favorite dishes, we're gonna make Cullen skink. Is. To sum it up for you, it's pretty much just fish soup or a chowder and it uses smoked white fish. Traditionally it would be haddock because Cullen being a small fishing town up the top of Scotland that was the most accessible to them. However to get the same kind of flavour you can use different smoked white fish. I'm going to use haddock today. And the name Cullen skink is obviously quite self-explanatory with the Cullen part. However the skink part has a few suggestions about where that originated from. One of the suggestions is that it means the shin bone of a cow and that would have been one of the desired meats to use in this. However, as I said, haddock was very accessible to the town of Cullen, so that's what they traditionally use. Now, what I have learned from my many years of tasting and sampling Cullen skink is that it does come in loads of different flavours, however, the ingredients all should stay the same. So where's the fish being smoked? How long has it been smoked for? How much onion are you using? Are you using leek? What kind of potatoes are you using? How much salt and pepper are you putting in? and different variants like that. So traditionally, it should all be very similar, each recipe that you try. So our recipe today calls for some whole milk, a wee knob of butter. I've got a leek, an onion, some smoked haddock, some peeled tatties, salt and pepper and parsley. And it's come out to dinner time, so I better hurry up. So let's start cooking. So did you know that Cullen actually has a world championship competition for Cullen skink making? They have an original, traditional Cullen skink, and they also have Cullen skink with a twist. And a couple of years ago, I saw advertised online a competition to win being a travel vlogger with a city kitchen, and they would give you funding and kit so you could go out and film adventures and vlogs about what inspires their recipes. And I thought, this is, this is so cool, I have to enter it, not thinking I had a chance in the slightest. And so I spoke to my friend Katrina, who I work with, and she came up with the idea of going to Angus to make Angus burgers. And I thought, you know what, I love Cullen Skink. I'm going to go to Cullen and learn how to make Cullen Skink. And so that's what I did. Me and my friend Pete, who's also a video producer, he and I jumped in the car and we went camping up in Cullen. And we actually got in touch with the Cullen Bay Hotel and asked if we could come and film them making it. Travelled around Cullen, filming our adventure, looking at castles, going to the beach. I edited it together in a three minute video and then I submitted it and I actually forgot about it for a few months until I got a direct message on Facebook from the marketing company about running it and I ended up winning. So step one is to melt the butter in your pot. And then you're going to add the onion and the leek and you're going to soften it but not quite brown it. Next we're going to add the potatoes and 300 ml of water and then we're going to bring it to the boil. Now reduce the heat on this so it simmers away. It's going to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and grab another pan and what we're going to do is we're going to put our haddock and our milk in this pan and cook it for about 5 minutes. The fish has been cooking for about five minutes until just tender and the whole kitchen is filled with the smell of smoky cream. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove the fish from the pan but keep the milk. Make sure you keep the milk because you're going to add that to the soup later. So I've just removed all the bones and all the skin from the smoked haddock so I'm going to pop it in and mix it in with the milk into the main pan. That's fish milk for you. Put some bread in fish milk? Sure. Tastes pretty good. Serve it up with a really good chunky bit of white bread and butter and sprinkle just a little bit of parsley on top. Hope you enjoyed my recipe today and want to give it a go yourself. If you do give it a shot, 
Let me know how you get on in the comments. Send me pictures and I'll see you next time.